When you have a country at this level, where ninety percent are below the tax level, you think government can do everything? When you have forsaken your humanity, I think you're corrupt. The distress is not something that the governments can handle, it's way beyond that. The first question is from Vikram from Delhi. Uh, Vikram, Vikram says, well, this is about the Kaveri calling. <laughs> Shouldn't this be the government's job? Why should I pay forty-two rupees when I already pay taxes? I don't even live near Chennai. See, uh, this happened. Shankar and Pillai checked into a Chennai hotel. At eleven thirty in the night, he called the reception and screamed, "I am trapped in this room." Somebody help me, what is this? The receptionist asked, what do you mean trapped? It's your room, right? He said, yeah. What do you mean trapped? Well, I see three doors. If I, one if I open one, it's a bathroom. If I open the other, it's a closet. And the third one says, do not disturb. <laughs> I'm trapped. Uh, that is the clap I heard just now. That's a trap. This is a democratic nation. This means this is our country. I put my vote, I don't know if Vikram put his vote or not, probably on that day he was on a picnic <laughs> or maybe he put, I put my vote, you do it. I'm sure if he's an engineering student, he's not paid any taxes yet. And he's claiming he's paying taxes. I want you to understand this. In this country, only some 3.2 percent of the population pays taxes, income tax. Do you know this? Only some 3.2 percent is paying income tax. Who carries the remaining 96 percent? Because the remaining ninety-six percent are either below the taxable limit or they're tax evaders, one of these. Even if you take the tax evaders, it will only add up to another three-four percent. The remaining ninety percent is below the taxable limit. When you have a country at this level where ninety percent are below the tax level, you think Government can do everything. What do you… what is… The, what do you think is the taxes they're collecting? They may be charging you forty percent, but what do you think is the volume of tax that they're collecting for a nation of 1.4 billion people? And you want them to do everything with that. I'm not pitching for the government. I wanted the government to give subsidies to the farmers, which they have done. You think you have no responsibility for this nation, you think those handful of people who are elected will do everything, no. Well, this is coming, this is coming because you think they are corrupt. Yes, they are, because they are your representatives <laughs> When I am telling you over three hundred thousand farmers have committed suicide, when you say, let somebody else do it, I think you're corrupt. Hello? When you have forsaken your humanity, I think you're corrupt. Corruption is not just accepting a bribe. You have forsaken your humanity, you are corrupt. The greatest problem right now in the country is lack of integrity. Not just among politicians, not just among people who hold office, general citizenry is corrupt. If citizenry was not corrupt, it would be very difficult for the politician to be corrupt because he was just one of you day before yesterday, only now he got elected. The moment he gets elected, his whole clan goes, Mama, you became minister, what are you giving me? Are they going and asking or not? Hello? If he doesn't give, Mama, we supported you. Why are you not supporting our family? Are they asking or no? So corruption is not in one place, it is across the nation. Let me tell you this, a few years ago, almost twenty-five years ago, I was in Trichy talking in a high school 
two fourteen-year-old boys. I just asking them, okay, what would you like to do after this education? One guy said, I want to be Ortivo. Fourteen-year-old boy. Then I say, why are you interested in the road traffic system? If you want to do something, what, what's your interest? He says, I'll get a lot of bribes. <laughs> I thought this is the tragedy of the nation, a fourteen-year-old boy, still a child in some ways. Only thing he's thinking of is, he's thinking how he can get maximum bribe, fourteen years of age. So, don't think just one point is corruption. Corruption is all across, we have made this our culture. Young people must change this. It is very important you make this nation a law-abiding nation more than anything else, that you follow the law. Convenient or inconvenient, you follow the law. This is important. You must set this culture about why should I do it? Well, if you are human, you should do it. If you are something else, I'll leave it to you. Because the distress is not something that the governments can handle, it's way beyond that. It's way beyond that. But the governments, you must understand this, this is not easy to do. We've been on sustained pressure on both these governments. And fortunately, yesterday was a fantastic day for Kaveri calling because both the governments agreed that they will give the necessary subsidy. This is going to cost them a few hundred crores a year but they're willing to do it. You thinking, why should I give forty rupees or forty-two rupees? Don't give. If you are… if you have that kind of a stone for a heart, don't do it. It's not necessary. We will do it. We will do it. So many other human beings still alive in this country and in the world, people are contributing, not just from India, from across the world. People are contributing because there is still humanity in the world. Yeah,